Dear Colette, since I'm an engineer, let's start with some numbers. 27.75 and 10 and a half. 27.75 being our approximate average age and 10 and a half being approximately how many years we've been together. If we ratio these numbers, we find we've been dating for 38% of our lives. That's over one third. That's enough nerd stuff for today. I know how much you dislike math. That's the best part about us, our differences. I mean, we do share similarities, most notably, we're both significant planners. But we really do balance each other out, making both of us stronger. I'm left-brained, good at math, science, and all that other technical stuff. I can fix the water heater, dishwasher in my car, etc. And you can psychoanalyze anyone, often trying techniques out on me, cough, cough. You are by far the most emotionally intelligent person I know, as well as the most empathetic. You've been a tremendous help to me when I do feel stressed, which we both know isn't often, so I'm not good at dealing with it. I know I'm in good hands with such a strong person looking out for me, and I promise to be that person for you. Also know that one day we're gonna make awesome babies, and you're going to make me a better parent than I would be otherwise. Meet you at the fountain, love always, Alex. Alex, how do I even begin to put my love for you into words? I have loved you for so long before we even knew what love meant. When I met you, you were just a boy, a cocky 17-year-old boy, but through your actions, I could envision the man you'd become. You have completely exceeded my expectations. I often don't think I deserve you, but I will spend the rest of my life, our lives, trying. You're the sun, the moon, the stars, the axis which my world tilts. You are my everything. You are my home. I love you. I get to see my beautiful baby. Look at this. So happy. Can I get kind of do this yes. and get a little kiss? You can. <laughs> oh my god. You look beautiful. Yeah. You look gorgeous. Thank you. Eternal God, creator and preserver of all life, author of salvation, giver of all grace, bless and sanctify of your Holy Spirit, Alejandro and Colette, who come now to join in marriage. Grant they may give their vows to each other in the strength of your steadfast and eternal love. Enable them to grow in love and peace with you and with one another all their days, even after all the blossoms have fallen that they may reach out in concern and service to the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. Now, Alejandro. I, Alejandro. I, Alejandro. Take you, Colette. Take you, Colette. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold from this day forward. From this day forward, for better, for worse. For better, for worse, richer for poor, for richer for poor, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death, until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Let's bear witness to love in this world so that those to whom love is a stranger will find generous friends. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Alejandro, you may kiss your bride. First time, Mr. and Mrs. Otero as they make their way to the dance floor. Those that truly love have roots that grow toward each other underground. 
And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen away from their branches, they find out that they are one tree and not two. I'm not gonna let you go. I've always loved you, and I always will. Hashtag, oh, tearing up my heart. <laughs>